think that something's like missing from your life? And I don't mean just that your wife ran off or that your best friend is too good for you. Maybe it's that you're not running an air freight operation out of your very own hangar. Well, Go yeah, to Mays Bank foreclosures and get one. And I'll be in touch. Perfect. All right. Nervous Ron, you should be creepier on. <laughs> Maybe that's why he doesn't have too many friends. He's got to work on that. <laughs> All right, sounds good, Ron. Let's go find a hangar. All right. All right, so, yeah, I've been getting calls about that, of course. As I'm sure many of you are who have not bought one. So today, we are going to buy a hangar. Yeah, welcome, everybody. Welcome back for more Grand Theft Auto Online. I'm the Missing Sock. Oh, yeah, and I'm in my, my smuggler outfit. <laughs> I don't know, I might change it. You know, it's kind of a mix of some other parts. But there's a ton of new stuff in the, in the game right now. So if you guys haven't looked at the uh, clothes, especially if you haven't looked at them since uh, before um, gun running, there's a ton, a ton of new stuff in there. So I'm not sure if I'm going to settle on this. I wanted something a little more hand solo, but I, I, I couldn't seem to... I don't know, a lot of the stuff I liked was old stuff, so I wanted something new. So most of this stuff is uh, where I could get new, but I think it's more gun running than anything. But a little bit of a smuggler's outfit. <laughs> It'll do. All right. So today we're going to go launch our smuggling run, smuggler's run, um, hangar. Yeah, our base of operations, as far as I know. So we are going to launch my, I'm already in the CEO company. And uh, I'm going to launch my buzzard, which for some reason spawned all the way up here. Now one thing that I've noticed with the smuggler's run, that uh, I might have said before, but I'll mention again, is that your CEO helicopter has now got those like cool little tinted windows on them so you can tell the difference between your regular uh, buzzard if you haven't painted or changed it or anything like that you can tell the difference nice and easy. So those hangers are still available. Yeah, now he's sending me text messages. Alright. So where will we go? Well maybe we'll fly over to my boat over here and we'll order it from there. I like to do big purchases in special places. Why not? <laughs> Auto here. I get to switch over my helicopters. There we go. That's green lightning here. Watch out for that tail rotor. <laughs> I think I think if the tail rotor um, had a kill score, it might actually be my nemesis. <laughs> It's killed me a lot of times. More times than I'll admit. <laughs> it's a good thing it doesn't have a kill count on it, because I'd probably be probably have more than I'd like to know, you know. <laughs> Alright. So we're gonna hop in the back here. Alright, there we go. Alright. Yeah, well sure. Yeah, let's start with a drink of champagne. Alright. So yeah, for smugglers run to all you guys. Alright guys, so lots of changes. Now we've got hangers in the game. They, you know, I've looked it up a little bit, so there's some research on it. So, um, you know, giving you guys a heads up there in many ways, much like all the other businesses. Kind of like a crossover of the BMC businesses and the, and the bunker and the, uh, the company, the um, offices themselves. Okay, but they're very similar. You buy them, you have options for your decorations and interior and things like that that aren't necessarily needed. Um, you've got a mod shop now these days, which is kind of normal, like the gun running bunker has one, so you can, on the MOC itself, the truck itself has one in the back bay that you can buy, so that you can modify it to all the new ways. Yeah. So it's very similar that way. You also do uh, supply missions, you do, uh, you know, running missions. It's very similar to gun running or or drug running through the uh, bikers or or car running or crate running or you know they're all very totally different yet very same very similar so it seems like uh, we're in for the same so nothing's changed too much even though a ton has if that makes any sense so there's a lot of new stuff but it's very similar to the old so we're going to go into the maze bank here and we're going to go right in here and uh, uh, uh. so the properties, we covered those in our other episodes, so I'll only briefly look at them. There's two inexpensive ones here. If you guys want to save some money, these are good buys. So that's why Hangar A117 and Hangar 1. I think there's somebody in my server right now in Hangar 1. And uh, they're 1.5 and 1.2 million, so those are the cheapest ones. Now, for a new novelty, and what we're going to get is I'm going to actually get one of these new Fort San Kudo um, hangars. 
I'm spending a little bit extra money because it's kind of a new area. It's, it's not really a new area. It's been there forever. But for the most part, it's, it's uh, unless you're on a mission, and even then, that was recently, like two years ago, you couldn't necessarily go in here uh, without, a, without stars and without fighting your way or, or some kind of cheat or, or glitch to happen or something to let you in there. Otherwise, now you can get in there. So some, recently with some missions, you could fly over there often and they stopped bothering you with uh, supply runnings for gun running, like this bunker right here, and all that kind of stuff. So it kind of kept the stars down. And now it looks like as long as you have a bunker, you can literally fly. So we're going to check this out. I, I don't own one yet, as you guys can see. So um, we're going to find out. So I'll just put this to hangers, just make it easy. Yeah. So these are the three up here. The most expensive, I believe, is this one. 3.2 million for a Ford Zancuder A2. Fort Zancudo. <laughs> I don't know why I come to it like that sometimes. Fort Zancudo, Hangar A2. Yeah, so for 3.2 million. And that's probably overkill, but it is the biggest and most expensive. So for those of you guys that like that, you know, compared to spending money on wasting money on other things, at least you have something that looks and, you know, has an impression in the game, as opposed to some things that don't really make too much of a difference on the inside. At least people can see this. So if you're into that stuff, at least this has a, uh, an impression on the map that's bigger than the others, right? You know, for those that are into that. Now, the next. Um, um, well, we'll go with the uh, yeah the second most expensive one here would be the 3499 Fort San Kudo Hangar 3499, and that is 2.6 million dollars. That's at the end of the runway, and the cheapest one in Fort San Kudo is 3497, and that one is right here, um, right there, there for 2.2 .2 million dollars, 2.1 we'll call it, 2.1 million dollars. Yeah. So zooming in, you can see it's right here. I I think I'm guessing I'm not really practiced, but it looks like there's probably easier access for these two when you're flying in on a plane or something. But I'm going to save a little bit of money. I'm going to go with the cheapest one because I wanted to save some money on this. You guys probably should too. You know, it's a very expensive DLC. But at the same time, I'm going to upgrade to the cheapest Fort San Kudo just so I can get the novelty of going inside Fort San Kudo and have all that new thing. You can actually drive your car up here. Okay. I think we're going to fly in, guys, so I'm going to tell you about this. Maybe I'll show you guys at the end if we can do some stuff, but but I've already seen plenty of videos where people drive up, and it's pretty cool because these lo these gates have been locked forever, and now the uh, Marines let you in. Yeah, and they, they say, they mention that you're the new owner, and they let you right in, and the gates open and everything, and that's novelty. Maybe it's not selling much to people, but if you drove up those gates before, they didn't work. They didn't open for you. So, you know, some people wondered if they ever opened. Well, now they open. It's awesome. Yeah. So here we're going to get right into it, guys. This is Fort San Kudo Hangar 3497, right at the heart of one of the I, I AAAs, which I think is like the CIA in, in, the, uh, in the San Andreas world that they built for us. So one of I AAAs most, or AA's <laughs> most exclusive and sought-after black sites. These industrial premises are perfect for the ambitious entrepreneur on the hunt for an address to impress. That, that's me. I'm an ambitious entrepreneur, and I'm looking for an address to impress. <laughs> Just think of the wow factor when you lead your clients past those lines of hooded detainees. <laughs> yeah, and please note, these three hangers all say the same thing. This hanger provides the buyer with low-level clearance to Fort San Kudo. All right, so that's why I'm buying this one, guys, if you're not interested in the uh, that clearance. And it does have a central location, which I hope helps. But otherwise, you might want to save money down here. It's tempting for me, too, because I've got warehouses and stuff. I've got, As you guys know that have watched the show, I've got a lot of stuff along the coast here. So it's tempting for me to get, you know, just to get a place in the airport. That was my instinct. But this is kind of new novelty, so I'm going to go that way. All right, so we'll save a little money on this one, though. Buy from $2 million. So here we go. All right. All right, hangar style. Okay, so uh, I don't know. Should we keep this one default? Now, in other episodes I've, I've shown you guys, there's nothing wrong with keeping default. Okay, as you go along in these things. So we got lighting, floor graphics, office furniture, living quarters, and workshop. Okay, now you can, it doesn't cost you any more money to come in here tomorrow, next week, next year, next month, and upgrade it then. Maybe one Rockstar does a sale on it, usually in about two months or so after they release the sales. Um, so just so you guys know, it doesn't cost any extra to keep it as default and upgrade it later. Okay, a lot of people seem to think, you know, you got to spend it once, you should spend it while you're doing it. No, there's no reason at all. I could, I could, you know, many of our episodes, we, we get this and then we load in and, and then uh, we check it out in default and then add on some stuff. And I'm tempted to do that right now. Let's see the kind of lighting. So we got options we got. We got hanger styles, which I'll blaze through so you guys can hopefully see that picture right there. Too bad we can't zoom it. But there's, that's the default, which actually isn't bad. Very industrial hanger look. Yellow paint jobs. Changes it to blue here. So you got blue highlights with the yellow. Then we've got orange. Orange? Yeah, orange. Looks like some red, too. I can only tell what I can tell from the picture here. We've got blue, and now we've got a floor. As you guys can tell, this one, we've got more colors here for the increased price. Right? So now we got a blue painted floor, so compare that to default. Okay, you can see a lot more change. And then we've got red here. Well, that's kind of sharp, I guess. 
I like them, though. I, I do like the cleaner floor, and I do like the red sharpness. The yellow and black. Oh, yeah, I think I heard about that. Yeah, it's similar to the bunker. And uh, I'm not a big fan of the yellow and black usually, but I think business-wise, like military-wise and stuff like that, it's very sharp. Looks clean and business, you know? Yeah, that's gray. It almost looks like it's black and white in there. And not to be the reverse here, white and gray. By the looks of it. Yeah, I like it. Kind of clean, dark. And white. Yeah, so that's kind of, for the most expensive, if you ask me, it's kind of plain. But I guess it's all very clean, but to me, I see that as plain. But it's very clean. Yeah. Okay, so lighting options. We've got the regular lighting, default lighting. And we've got upgraded lighting, which are brighter. So you want dim lights or bright lights. And it's only a $50,000 difference. I made a little bit of money just for this, guys. As you guys know, I lost a little bit of money recently. <laughs> and been buying things, but that's okay. We're going to get it all back up. You know, just watch it see. We'll do it. So, I might even actually upgrade the lights while we're at it, because there's only really one option here, so I think it's safe to just get that now. But like I tell you guys, if you, if you guys are profit conscientious, you might want to wait for a sale on Rockstar, which is almost guaranteed to happen in the next couple months, and save some money on these options that really don't make any difference to the business at all. They're just personal preferences. So now we're into floor graphics. So this would change that floor that you actually have. I wonder if it actually updates it so you, when you see it now, it doesn't. It doesn't show you how it would actually look on your floor. That's too bad. They really should. So that when you look at it here, and when you go over here, it would have the proper, um, have the proper look, right? Anyway, that's the default. Looks like a very simple uh, um, one. We've gone through these the other day quickly. So they've got a bunch of different parking spots for your for your planes, which I think I hear is up to 20 aircraft, which is a lot more than I thought. Not sure where they all fit. Maybe it's only so many can show it at once. So I guess we're going to find out. Office furniture. No floor graphics. I'm going to change that back to default. I think for now. I don't know, guys. Which one do you guys like more, most? It's hard for me to say. Yeah, I like that military style. It's simple. Star, meh. That's a little bit of a... I don't know, that almost looks like a little bit of show to show for me. Cool. Clean and simple. I might go with something like that, the globe. Yeah, 155,000. Maybe we will. Hmm. And then you've got the aviation circle. Forget the name for that. And then you've got the parking spots. That's very military style. Or reminds me of the aliens movies and stuff, where you'd have your military vehicle sitting there, and then uh, yeah, yeah, that's again military style. Yeah, makes me think of GI Joe toys. I don't know why. <laughs> All right, so you know, I'm thinking like a lot of the things I do are kind of like you know, for those people that watch those movies, like a Triple Z accounting and. And global Pacific financial and things like that. These are a lot of movies out there have like these hidden hitman companies and criminal organizations. They always have these kind of plain, weird sounding global uh, Pacific names, things like that. But they're actually a hitman organization, you know, so they're on the books, on the layout, in the yellow pages, in the phone book, but you wouldn't know, you know, and they're such a boring name, you know. So I don't know, I might go with something like that, but I might keep it plain for now. Let's move on. Office furniture, that's your standard. As far as I know, this has no difference other than changing it. 195,000 for traditional, which is nicer, I suppose. That's like almost unfinished, almost. And then you've got modern. Well, modern's nice, I guess. Kind of like the traditional, though. It'd be nice if they had a mix of the two. Uh, oh, yeah. So, and the mix in the modern is $280,000. 195,000 for traditional. Okay, so I might upgrade these, and maybe we'll do that in a future episode. Do Follow my own advice, and I'm going to save money on these. And get them all later, and you guys can see the upgrades. Well, maybe when we load in. I don't know. We'll see. Okay, living quarters. Living quarters would basically just be a next added decoration, another room you can go into, and it basically gives you the ability to spawn into your hangar, just like all the other places you can spawn into certain places as long as you buy the living quarters. But it's usually not too much worth it unless you like starting there, and it helps save you money making money. Or save you time making money, I should say. So traditional for two hundred thirty-five thousand, or modern for three hundred seventy-five thousand, which is nice. I think I'm going to save that for now. I kind of like flying in there for now. So we're going to go get my plane in a second. We're going to fly it in, as opposed to driving it. And I'm hoping that they give us air clearance. I'm hoping they call us or something on the radio. We'll see. And the workshop. Now the workshop is the final option here, guys, and it is the most important if you want to be able to alter your aircraft. And most people want to be able to alter your aircraft. It's one of the major things of the upgrade is that you can change a lot of the existing aircraft and a lot of the new aircraft. And there is new aircraft that have not come out yet as well. 
So if you're into that stuff and you really want to check it out, it's almost essential. Okay, so we're going to get that. Again, you could wait till there's a sale perhaps though. Uh, but anyway, $1.1 million and 50000 So it's expensive, but that's in line with what they do in the other DLCs as well. All right. So our total price is $3.2 million currently. If we leave it on default with a little bit of a lighting upgrade. Yeah. That floor graphics. 3.4. Yeah, it's cutting it a little close, isn't it, guys? Hmm. Ah, uh, man, I can make it. I can make, I can make money. I can make money. <laughs> Maybe I will upgrade the floor. We don't need to do a show on just floors. So we'll get that. And I'm going to leave the other stuff for now. Okay, so spending more than I probably should, more than I'd recommend to you, but $3.4 million. And then we've got the workshop right out of the way with now. And I'll make some more money. Not to worry. And we've already got some aircraft to put in there too to check it out. So, $3.4 million. $3,440,000. We're going to buy. All right. Congratulations, purchase your new hangar. Lead us travel. Your hangar purchase entitles you to a free Cuban 800. This aircraft will be delivered to your hangar shortly. I love how it says free after you just spent millions. <laughs> uh, all right. So, that is, I think, a 200. Two, three hundred thousand. I think a two hundred fifty thousand, something like that. Two hundred thousand dollar plane. Um, not much, but it's nice that they give you something. You know, it's always nice something. I think Rockstar should always give you something, but that's just my opinion. But at least we got something. So we've got a little Cuban that we can work on and maybe do some stuff with too. And I'm probably the most broke I've ever been in a long time, guys. Uh, three hundred twenty-eight thousand. But not, like I said, not to worry. We got lots of businesses and lots of stuff to hold us up. We'll be fine. All right. So let's head out. So I am going to. Yes, uh, uh, uh. tempting to that's over there. Yeah, there. Sam didn't have another drink for that, but we're going to have one. Or a Nimbus, maybe. <laughs> if it's still there. I called it in a little while ago. So, sometimes Pegasus can be a little odd when you don't go to it right away. All right. Run. You bought the hangar. Yes, did. We're in business, baby. All right. Wait. Who's that? <laughs> oh, no, that's me. <laughs> I'm me. Yeah, and he wants us to go to the hangar, so we better go there. Go to your hangar to gain access to air freight business, allowing you to steal and stockpile. Your hangar is storage for a vast selection of personal aircraft purchasable from Elitist Travel and WarStockCashandCarry.com. Pegasus aircraft can be called in and taken to the hangar and to also store them there. Cool. Well, I'll probably have to park my aircraft at first because if I fly, there's probably going to be a, a cutscene, I imagine, or something when I first get there. So, Brucey, does he ever let me down? Jeez. Ah, oh, I should just, uh... Juicing is for winners, friend! I just... I, I tell you, it's harassment, if I could tell Rockstar. He's harassing me, Rockstar. Uh, I don't play on this, guys, and when I'm not playing with you guys, he doesn't call. But whenever I'm doing stuff, he always calls. I don't know why. Uh, maybe it's because I don't buy his juice, and he's rather annoyed about it, apparently. <laughs> maybe if I buy some, he'll stop calling. Does he? Maybe? Hopefully? I don't know. Here we go, guys. So we're going to fly over to our hangar. I'm hoping they're going to give us clearance automatically. And we're going to land. Park the hangar and go check it out. Up, up, and away. Almost. Down the, down the runway. Then up, up, and away. to Fort Zancudo. That's awesome. Can't believe I own a hangar there. That's pretty cool. It's a great idea on Rockstar's part. Yep. A lot of people weren't too sure where they're going to put the hangars. The airport was kind of an obvious choice. But whether or not they'd open up the airbase, that was a whole different thing. Now I think, I'm not sure, but I think the actual direction of the runway is, is uh, 
east to west, you know, right to left. So I might be coming in actually at the wrong direction, but we'll see. Coming in this way will take us towards our hangar. There it is up there, right there. It's the Fort San Kudo Air Base. Hanger over there in the corner. Alright. Maybe I'll just do a quick flyover first. Nice. Awesome. Awesome. Because I knew that they said stuff when you came in the gate. And I was wondering if they said stuff when we pulled up in a plane. And they do. So there we go, guys. We just got our landing clearance. Alright. So. I'm going to do this right for this one. So I'm just going to pull it back a little bit. Us a little bit more room instead of doing this a little too short. It is a big plane. Go. All right. So that hangar back there, whoop, back there by my fin. Yeah, maybe I'll wait till I stop. You should have your engine on so you can brake faster, just so you guys know. I just like playing with it that way, it's a little quieter. Alright, so, the hanger over there, just by my, see my tail fin? I'll make it easier, that'll be our pointer. So my red, my red tail there, we're going to just point at it. There's a hanger right there, and that's the other hanger at the end of the runway. And the other hanger you can get, right where my tail is right there, that's the other hanger there, the most expensive one. And the one we're going to get is over here. So we're going to head over there right now. It's not big on turning fast. <laughs> it's got quite the wingspan. But I'm happy with it though, I really like it. But you gotta be careful of things in the wingspan. And you turn too fast and it might touch. Oh, I see the blue circle right over there, guys. So there's our new hangar right there. Awesome. Okay, so I'm pretty sure I can pull the plane right up. But like I said, I know he's gonna give us a cutscene. And I want to check out this uh, plane going in for the first time without the cutscene in the way. Sometimes they cancel out each other. So I'm just going to park it right here. Yeah. All right. <laughs> yep. Now we're going to drink to being in Fort Zancudo. <laughs> have an anger. And to you guys. <laughs> this is why he's always crashing his cars all the way. All the time, by the way, guys. <laughs> yeah. It's got a little bit of a yellow haze in case you guys are wondering. I'm wearing my sunglasses, so. It's usually a little bit cleaner look, but that's okay. I like my sunglasses. All right. We'll have a cigar later. Time to go. All right. Okay guys, so you can drive your vehicle in here too as well, but you can't park it in the air hangar as far as I know. But you can drive it into the base. Alright, ready guys? Here we go. Let's see what Nervous Ron has to tell us. Awesome for them. <laughs> yes, my friend, they're dead. Dead 
and any nonsense from you, and you'll join them. I've got a space weapon from Russia. A Russian hacker space weapon. <laughs> and I'm going to liquidize you, just like I did to your friends. Yes, liquidize. <laughs> Ow! Hi, hi. Oh. Trying to kill me? Oh God, no! Hey, I own oh, this place. Oh, you're my new partner. <laughs> you got into the place. You're late. What kept you? Yeah, well, it's uh, well, too late. Uh, <sighs> that bastard Trent. Uh, my best friend. Oh, he's supposed to protect me forever. Then he goes all Vinewood on me. Uh, it's too important for Ron now. <laughs> he's a guru. He's a lifestyle coach. I don't know what he is. I bet he's got abs. <laughs> <laughs> I am so alone. I just shot two government agents in the head. I mean, I hope they're government agents. I'm screwed. <laughs> We're screwed. Where's that mechanic? Oh, I mean, that's the only reason I, I let them in. Because I thought it was going to be him. Ooh, who's that? Hmm. Hey, boss. Hey, boss. Oh, hey, boss. Is that what I get? Well, you're getting a sandwich. I'm getting killed. These two people came to kill me. Not him. <laughs> He's your new boss. Well, a co-boss with me. This is Charlie. He was in the Air Force. He was accused of a crime he didn't commit. Innocent mistake. Charlie. Planes crash. He was the fall guy. You know how the deep state is. Char Charlie, get to work. Ignore the corpses. So, anyway. What? Business is good and business is bad. Now, that's a problem. On one hand, <laughs> we've got more orders than we can possibly handle. And on the other, I'll be surprised if we're not killed in the next 48 hours. Come on, let me give you a tour. And I can deal with this mess while you get to work. It's really pretty obvious. Awesome. Let's have a look around. Okay, now, this is the office where I, uh, we, I mean we, equal partners, we, you, senior partner, run the business. Now, this is the computer. It's very secure. We lose this, we're all dead men. This is where the jobs come hmm. through. Yeah? So you can check it out? Okay? Okay, so okay let's terminal. move on. Much like many other businesses. Now back here is where we store cargo. Now nothing too dodgy. Mostly untaxed cigarettes, stolen pharmaceuticals, and industrial chemicals. But we'll run hmm. pretty much anything. Now back there is where you can store any aircraft that we... I mean, you haven't left out here on the main floor. Got plenty of room. I think we can probably take all the planes we'd need. But then, I've never had more than one. <laughs> and over there's where Charlie works. Hey, Charlie! <coughs> ah! You'll like Charlie. He's boring, but he's good. He can really make aircraft fly. That's not what I mean. I mean, he can make <laughs> aircraft fly better. You should try him out. His work is amazing. Give me a hand with these bugs. All right, so he's part of our uh, oh, I better modification stuff, I imagine. Uh, ooh, then I got a little radio thing, but I'll be in touch. <laughs> I am so radio glad thing. you're here. You're the best friend I've had, and I mean that. <laughs> Don't let me down. All right. Bye, Ron. <laughs> Woo! Access the Free Jade shipping app on the computer in your office upstairs to begin setting up the air freight business. Log in and select the setup option to get started. Yeah. Look at those doors. Woo! This place is huge. Huge. Do we already have alligator? Or is the no? That's just for show. That's probably like, yeah, it's a decoration. Personal aircraft management menu can be used to move and display aircraft on the floor of the hangar or return them to storage. Okay. Huh. And there's our Cuban uh, 800, I think. Yeah, over there. Cool. And this helicopter is just a decoration helicopter. By the looks of it. There's our mod shop in there. Yeah, awesome. Big place. with all the rooms. So these are just like decoration parts of the mod shop, but what's 
What's this? It's our bedroom. Yeah. Huh. I didn't buy the living quarters. So I guess this is just uh the boss is on deck. You fill this hanger up with drones, I'm looking for another job. You want to increase capabilities. You need a weaponized aircraft from war stock. Alright. So I guess he just kinda of wanders around up there, maybe. Awesome. And that's our office up there, as we know. Very cool, very cool. Alright, so we should check out that computer up there, but I think I might pull my aircraft in. Now, can I access the menu in here? I don't think so. It, even though it popped me up about it, I don't know. Maybe I can. All new to me. I'm probably gonna get a phone call or something as soon as I exit there. Let's find out. Nimbus. All right, now I think you can actually fly right at it, but you're taking your chances of hitting it wrong. Or not hitting that button in time. Awesome. Awesome. You get a little cutscene and everything for it. That's perfect. I guess it's like similar to your garages and stuff, but still, it's a novelty with planes. That's new. All right, E to modify the aircraft. Okay. Time to get to work. What we doing today? We can respray and remove this aircraft from our hangar. Respray? Really? Wow. Are these things locked? The chrome? No. Huh. Cool. I don't know if I'd want chrome, but wow. That's awesome. <laughs> so I can like finally have like a stealth map black plane guys and stuff. Wow. That's awesome. How exactly do you want to explode people? Many way all the ways I want to explode people. Charlie, all the ways. You'll see, all the ways. <laughs> Although that does bring me to something though guys. It might be a bug so they might fix this in the future just so you guys know. But at this point in time people are testing out the bombs that you can buy are finding that the regular explosive cheapest bomb is actually the best in many ways um, so just so you guys know you may want to expand your or buy the, uh, the the cluster bombs and things like that unless you need to yeah, so you can do a full pearlescence and everything that's pretty cool guys very cool I could change my secondary too so at least I uh, have not too many options for my for my Nimbus here, but at least something. And that's cool that I can change it to whatever paint job I want. That is awesome. That is super awesome. And it's not very expensive at all. So you guys can see it just hundreds for that. That was my other question, is are they going to overcharge you just for simple things? But no. no. Well, I guess yes, because the whole thing is expensive. <laughs> but at least I can get black for $420, you know, on my secondary and things like that, right? Okay, exit the aircraft workshop, exit the aircraft, and exit the hangar. So we're going to exit the aircraft. Very cool. Yeah, I'll figure out something in the future with it, but that is awesome. I like that. Woo! Yeah. So that's one of the bigger features, you know, hidden on uh, all the talk about all these new vehicles is that um, even the old vehicles can now be painted and changed, and uh, many of them have options they never had before. It's very cool. Very awesome. All right, so we're going to go upstairs. And check out this. So, guys, that is our hangar episode. Although I think I'm going to log into the uh, the uh, computer here, but I think that uh, basically that would start up the setup mission, similar to all the other businesses. We'll run a setup mission, and I might do that for the next one here, right after. <laughs> all right, let's see what they say. Authentication must be granted by Ronald Jagowski. Please progress with the air freight business setup. So there it is, guys. Can I exit? I can't. Good. So you can do that when you're ready. Just for those that want to know. All right. That is awesome, guys. So that's our introduction to hangers. Woohoo! We are in Fort San Kudo. <laughs> All right. Hope that helped you guys out with your decisions. 
um, yeah, if you want something new, maybe come to the uh, the airbase. But, you know, if you want to save some money, there's nothing wrong with LSIA. And now it's fun, great and awesome, if you ask me, that you can actually use the airport as an airport. That's you know, amazing. How about that? <laughs> All right. Woo. -hoo. All right. Take care, everybody. I'm the Missing Zuck. I'll see you again soon. Um, well, like I said, I think we're going to go right into setting it up. And then uh, that'll probably be our next episode. And then we'll continue on. Yeah. Hopefully it's just a short little setup mission. We'll find it. Yeah. Take care, everybody. See you next time. All right. Let's see. Uh, yeah. So I leave the hangar. Let's see if it probably doesn't give us a cutscene. It usually only gives you a cutscene when you come in. Uh, no, we're not going to modify. Oh, cool. And it puts us right on the runway, way over here, so I don't even have to taxi. That was my other concern, is buying the cheaper one in the corner. Do I have to taxi in and out all the time? Well, it looks like I might have to taxi in a little bit, but you don't have to taxi out. That is awesome. Take care, everybody.